All right, guys, welcome back. So uh, we were actually in, 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 in the process of uh, uh, manipulating the data in the in the Delta Lake tables. We have already created uh, the, the, the table uh, and now we are going to uh, run the main show. So we, uh, like I mentioned, uh, let me just quickly show you, we have 12 months of data. And what I'm going to do, I don't want, for example, I don't need the, the, the first month of uh, 1987. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the the uh, the, uh, the records which belongs to uh, the the chain of 1987. And by the way, it's a very old data, so we can remove from our table. So I'm going to use the delete uh, statement, and where where is going to be 1987 and Let's see. Yeah, and month is going to be one, not ten, right? So let's see. It's going to actually return me how many records are going to be affected. And don't worry about the the. Uh, okay, now that that that's going to be funny because I now need to check why I don't have the the month data, right? So what we can do. Very simple thing. We can check the so we are saying that we don't have the data against this. All right. No result. I do believe. Oops, that was my fault because so you can see if we do any mistake, I still have those uh okay, still not giving how about That would be a better security. Because so I'm already providing the month, so what I'm going to do is buy one or buy two. Let's see now what's going to happen. Because I know I have a data, so all right. So what we have, we only have. 10, 11, and 12. So that means we don't have the, how about if I run this? I'm just actually, so these are the real uh, tasks that you normally do while you're working with the data. And now you can see how the life of the, the data professional looks like. So let me quickly go now and run the similar thing in, in, in here because I think I know uh, know that uh, that means we don't have the yeah so now that is confirming the 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 initial month of 1987s are not present into my source data so that, that that I just need to check so I'm all good so what I'm going to do let's skip the the earliest data which is obviously now I know that uh, the earliest data which I'm getting is from tenth. All right, so now let me run it. You can see the delete operation is pretty fast. Uh, remember, it is applying all the delete operation on all those files which are in the parquet file. It's that the delete, delete operation is not running on that table. So that that's where the the uh, the the data lake or delta lake is really powerful. That now your big data is now available for you to handle exactly the same way like you uh, handle your structure relational data. So you can see we have forty four uh, uh four hundred forty eight thousand records got updated and I can check uh, confirm from here and now let me run it to see whether I'm going to get uh, October uh, of uh, 1987 of data now it's gone so you can see we have that data which is now gone from my table so that that's how you can delete and you can run all uh, uh, sort of operation but if I run the same query just to show you the difference so now let me run this query on on the view that I have created So let's run it in, in here. 
and I'm going to use this as a source. So you're gonna see what will happen. Right, no plan for delete from table, right? So it won't uh, allow us to, to delete the, the record from, from the, the data tables. Okay, so we have done the delete operation. Now what we are going to do, like I mentioned, I know that SFO represent this sense for Cisco. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to run the update statement just to see whether it's going to support the update operation as well. So you can see I'm just running a very simple update statement where I'm just updating those records where the destination is SFO. I'm just changing it and setting those destination to a full name, you know, instead of just, you know, uh, a code, just a, as an example. Mm -hmm. But you can run all sort of update statement that you uh, you need to to do it while you are uh, uh, working with with your delta uh, delta lake. Hopefully it won't take time. And now you can see the update query is running on 6.4 million, uh, not 6.4, now it's all close to 6 million record. It is trying to manipulate and it's just going to look at the, 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 the records. And I do believe the performance still could because tell you that it's guys try to do it against the, 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 the raw table within the database and you will see the performance difference between using the data bricks or, uh, or using the, the simple database engines, which are available from, from the, uh, from the small to medium data perspective. So very, very powerful engine that uh, data bricks has provided to handle the, the big data, regardless of the structure. So it's not like, uh, and the second limit that we are now uh, addressing is the is the structure so that that data is not the 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 pure relational data we can even do on on the non-relational or semi-structured data as well so i'm not going to hold you back uh, because like i mentioned it's going to take a bit time little time not more because we have only single node cluster so i'll be back as soon as it got finished all right, guys, we are done with, with the uh, with the update process. Now, let me quickly run. And I need to set the table. And I'm just going to copy and paste the exact condition so we can verify whether the update operation has sorry, completed or uh, has performed its uh, due job or not. So we shouldn't have any any data with XFO uh, into into my table. So you can see query is returning no result. However, if I just you know put that criteria instead of the code, we'll see. So we're gonna have, and I can even count it just to show you to match the above count because that's the beauty of, of the of the DML operation that it returns the number of effective records. So I do believe that uh, if I run uh, the count of my table, I'm going to have the uh, 152,000 records that uh, have been changed from SFO to San Francisco. So let's run it. And you can see, the, the number are matching. So that, that's how you can uh, build the, the Delta table and you can apply the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, data manipulation operation. You can run the delete update command. You can run the merge command as well. So uh, which is providing us a lot of power to, to, to use now the big data in a way that we normally uh, treat the data into, into our relational database. So hopefully, uh, you enjoy the video. If you have any question, comment, please feel free to uh, put in the in the in the comments area. More than happy to answer. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you in the next one with the version control of of the the Delta table.